Let's briefly talk about foreign affairs. Why did you call Hamas and Hezbollah your friends? What I did was spoke at a meeting in which I said I wanted all people involved in the Middle East issue to come together and be able to have a discussion, to be able to well, discuss... You said can, I, can, I, can, I, can you allow me to finish? Uh, well, Do you mind? Yeah, but I asked you a question and you're no. ignoring it. No, I'm not ignoring the question. If you'd give me a minute, I'll answer it. I, the I point is, the point is this. Friends? Listen for a minute, if you don't mind. I spoke at a meeting about a Middle East crisis in Parliament. And there were people there from Hezbollah. And I said, I welcomed our friends from Hezbollah to have a discussion and a debate. And I said I wanted Hamas to be part of that debate. I have met Hamas in Lebanon, and I've met Hezbollah in this country in Lebanon. I've also met... So are they can your I, friends or can not? Can I finish? Are I've they all, your friends or not? Can I finish? I've also met... Well, you can't if it's a long, no, long answer. Look, the, not, issue is, I, the issue is this. You are not prepared to discuss the whole issue of the Middle East. You're not prepared to discuss the wider question. The wider question is, Hamas, Hezbollah are part of a peace process. Even the former head of Mossad says that there has to be talks involving Hamas. I've also had discussions with people from the right in Israeli politics who have the same view, possibly, that the state of Israel should extend from the river to the sea, as it is claimed people from the Palestinian and I'm side do. I'm happy for you to make all of that clear. Right. I'm saying you use these words, friends. Now, are you saying they're not your friends? Or are you saying, saying they are your friends? I'm saying that people I talk to I use it in a collective way, saying our friends were prepared to talk. Does it mean I agree with Hamas and what it does? No. Does it mean I agree with Hezbollah and what they do? No. What it means is that I think to bring about a peace process, you have to talk to people with whom you may profoundly disagree. There is not going to be any peace process unless there is talks involving Israel, um, Hezbollah and Hamas. And no, I think everybody knows that. But as you know, the controversy is around you calling them friends. And you've explained, I think, that when you said that, you didn't mean that they're, fr they're friends. I used, is that, is it, that I used it in a collective yeah. way at a discussion, and you're trying to trivialise the whole no, issue of the Middle East. You're trying to trivialise the whole discussion about how you bring about a long-term peace process. I'm, and I'm you very know happy, that. I'm very happy and to you have, know that. No, I'm very happy to have long conversations with well, you. Well, why don't we have them, then? And you've been on this programme talking about the Middle East many times Well, not before. very recently, actually. You haven't but, had me on for but, a long time. But this, this quote about friends has, has surfaced, and that's what I was asking you about, and you've... You've had your opportunity to... Well, thanks for the tabloid journalism. To answer. That's not tabloid journalism. Yes, that, that's putting your own words back to you. Tabloid saying... journalism where you're evading. You are evading asking me to give an opportunity to discuss well, the wider issue of the Middle East. Well, you, no, because all you're well, interested actually, in... Actually, what I was going to ask you next is was what something the rather more said. important. No, it's I was tabloid ask you journalism some... and you know it. Well, it's absolutely not. I was asking you about it's your own words, journalism. and if you're not prepared to defend your own words, then that's fine. I'm but, quite prepared to defend my own words. I've just done so. I want to get on to a bigger aspect of foreign policy, which we could have done minutes ago had you, not, had you just answered the question when I answered it, which is, is it noble, is it right to continue doing nothing to intervene in Syria? I think the decision not to bomb Syria, is an, or to bomb Syria not to bomb Syria, is an important one. If we'd started bombing now... What would it achieve? Probably not very much. It would then be followed up by ground forces and we'd then be back into a war. I think the issue has to be choking off the arms supply and the money that goes to ISIL, recognise where ISIL have come from, and also recognising, I think there was quite a big mistake in not reconvening the Geneva Conference involving Iran, which could have helped to bring about a much earlier point of ceasefire in the other part of the Syrian civil war, that is between the government of Syria, Free Syrian Army and the Kurdish forces, as opposed to the ISIL forces, which have grown significantly in the past year. I don't think British intervention by military means is going to bring about a solution to it. I think there has to be ultimately a political solution. I think we also need to look at the role that Saudi Arabia and other countries are, paying, are playing rather, in the arms they're putting into the area. So, so you think Ed Miliband was right yes. to end that chance of military intervention when he did? Indeed, he, I was... Despite the fact so many people have died and I was part ISIS have taken the whole... Would seat. military intervention have brought that about? Because indeed, those that were advocating we intervened at that time uh, were very unclear on which, support, on which particular group in Syria we're then going to support. There were people already fighting in Syria who later became part of the ISIL forces. Would we have been actually supporting ISIL forces? Nobody can really answer that question. It was very unclear what the strategy was.